Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on types of cyber security threats. A cyber attack is an exploitation of computer systems and networks. It uses malicious code to alter computer code, logic or data and lead to cyber crimes such as information and identity theft. We are living in a digital era. Nowadays, most of the people use computer and internet. Due to the dependency on digital things, the illegal computer activity is growing and changing like any type of crime so let's see the agenda for this session first we'll be learning about what is cyber security then we'll be learning about the need of cyber security after that we'll be discussing about the different types of cyber threats after that we'll be discussing more about the safety measures so without further ado let's begin with the session but before we begin the session Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Let us start with what is cyber security. Cyber crime is on the rise, highlighting the weaknesses in the devices and services we've come to rely on. This worry prompts us to consider what cyber security is and why it's important and uh, obviously what we can learn about it. Now, let us take a look at the definition of cyber security. It is the technique of protecting computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks and data from hostile intrusions and uh, this is known as cyber security. It is also uh, known as uh, electronic information security or uh, information technology security, IT security in short. Now let us take a look at the need for cyber security. Companies need cyber security to keep their data, finances and intellectual property safe. Individuals need it for similar reasons, although the intellectual property is less of a factor and there is a higher risk of losing important files such as uh, family photos. Due to the growing uh, reliance on computer systems, the internet and the wireless network standards such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, as well as the growth of smart devices like uh, smartphones, televisions and the various devices that make up the internet of things, uh, this cyber security field is becoming increasingly important. Since the internet is as essential as uh, electricity and water in present times, there are people who try to misuse this, so uh, cyber security will always have a demand. Now let us move on to the features of cyber security. The core underpinning of the information security domain is the CIA triad. These features are uh, confidentiality, integrity and availability. Every security control and uh, every security vulnerability can be viewed in light of one or more of these concepts. For a security program to be considered comprehensive and complete, it must adequately address the entire CIA triad. Now let us briefly know about these features. Confidentiality Confidentiality safeguards are in place to protect sensitive data from unwanted access. Integrity Maintaining the consistency, accuracy and trustworthiness of data throughout its life cycle is what integrity is all about. Availability Availability uh, refers to the capacity for authorized parties to access information on a consistent and timely basis. Now let us move on to what are cyber threats. A cyber or cyber security threat is a harmful act that aims to harm data, steal data or otherwise uh, disrupt digital life. It can be called an event uh, that has the potential to negatively affect an organization's operations. So, it, a cyber threat can basically cause uh, economical harm to an organization or completely shut down an organization's uh, operations uh, for a day or a week or whatever time period uh, that might be. So, one example of a new kind of cyber threat in recent times is uh, crypto jacking. The cryptocurrency movement also affects cyber security in other ways. For example, crypto jacking is a trend that involves uh, cyber criminals hijacking third party home or work computers to mine uh, these uh, cryptocurrencies. Because mining for cryptocurrencies like the Bitcoin for example requires immense amounts of computer processing power, hackers can make more money by secretly piggy banking on someone else's computers. For businesses, crypto jack systems can cause serious performance issues and costly downtime as the IT department works to track down these and resolve the issue. Now let us know some of the common cyber threats. The common cyber threats are DDoS or also known as the distributed denial of service attack. We also have malware and we have a man in the middle attack, phishing and zero day attacks. These five are the most common 
cyber threats. Let us take a brief look at all of them. So, a denial of service attack occurs when hackers flood a computer system's network and servers with traffic, preventing it from fulfilling legitimate requests. This makes the system unworkable, prohibiting an organization from doing essential tasks. Malware is any software that is designed to disrupt a computer, server, client or network, leak private information, obtain unauthorized access to information or systems. There are many types of malware. Some of them are worms, viruses, the Trojan uh, virus, adware, spyware and ransomware. Man in the middle attack. A man in the middle attack or also known as MITM attack is a form of eavesdropping attack in which an attacker intercepts a conversation or data transfer in progress. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cyber security, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cyber security by IIT Guwahati and it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. Now let's continue with the session. The attackers pose as both genuine participants after inserting themselves in the middle of the transfer. That is, they get in between you and your computer and whoever you're talking to. Phishing is a type of social engineering assault that is frequently used to obtain sensitive information from users such as login credentials and credit card details. So uh, these people will basically uh, code an entire UI page that looks exactly similar like a bank's page or an e-commerce page. So whenever uh, you enter your uh, credentials, that is your username and password of your uh, bank account, they will have access to it and they might uh, transfer funds from your account to theirs. Now, last but not the least, uh, let us know about the zero day attack. If a hacker manages to exploit the vulnerability before software developers can find a bug or a fix, that exploit becomes uh, known as a zero day attack. So now as we are aware of the threats, uh, let us know how to keep ourselves safe from these attacks. Avoid using unprotected public Wi-Fi on your devices if at all, uh, if possible. It can uh, render you vulnerable to exploitative uh, techniques if you use them. If you must use it, avoid inputting sensitive information on any website such as your social security number or bank information. When you're not at home, use a VPN or a virtual private network as it is called to perform your browsing. So this will basically keep you uh, protected from the World Wide Web and it makes you more difficult to intercept. And the next uh, safety measure is backing up your data. You may have certain types of security breaches uh, less problematic by backing up your data. It won't be a big concern if a hacker encrypts your data and demands a ransom to decrypt it if you backed it up a week ago or whenever it might be. So the next safety measure is uh, not to use the same password uh, for everything. It can be risky to use uh, the same password for everything. Uh, once a hacker has your password, they will have access to basically your entire system as well as any applications that you use. Having separate password for each application you use is a great way to improve your security and changing them frequently will keep you safe from both external and internal dangers. So the next safety measure is keeping your software up to date. Cyber attacks uh, frequently occur because your system or software are uh, out of the current and exposing vulnerabilities. Hackers take advantage of these flaws and uh, cyber criminals take advantage of them to get access to your network. It is sometimes too late to take precautionary measures after they have uh, gotten in. To combat this, it is always a good idea to invest in a patch management system that will keep track of all your software and system upgrades, ensuring that your system is secure and up to date. So the next safety measure is to use uh, either the two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication. So after you have logged in with your username and password, that is also called as a single factor authentication, uh, you need to prove your identity. In some situations, you'll be uh, requiring to input a code given to your phone that is an OTP. So username and password becomes your first layer of authentication and your phone OTP becomes your second layer, which is also called as a two factor authentication. So we have many alternative authentications apart from username and password. So make sure your uh, authentication is multi-layered so that it is hard for uh, hackers to break into your uh, system. And lastly, the safety measure is to use uh, antivirus uh, protection and firewalls. 
one of the most effective strategies to defend yourself against any cyber assault is to put your network behind a firewall and an antivirus any brute force attacks on your uh, network or your system will be blocked by a firewall system before they can cause any damage thank you for watching till the end guys just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in cyber security then intellipad provides a advanced certification in cyber security by iit guwahati and it is taught by iit guwahati professors and industry experts this course is designed to upskill and land your dream job